What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Cam ATL, and welcome back to another MLB Prize Picks video with your boy. Drop a like down below because I already know you're gonna love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment anything in the comments section to enter your name into the $50 giveaway I do every single week. Uh, week, right? Yeah, every single week on this channel because I love you guys. And once again, if nobody's told you they love you today, I love you. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get this money. PropsMadeEasy.com. Only $15 a month. You already know what it is. Let's get straight into it. So, first and foremost, I made the NBA video earlier. And as you will see, if you go look at the NBA tool, if you have access to PropsMadeEasy.com, if you go take a look at the NBA tool, you will see a bunch of four new prop types have been added. Uh, fantasy score, three-pointers made, free throws made, and blocks and steals have been added to the NBA tool. Like I said, we're going to be adding and adding and adding, growing, 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 giving y'all as much possible content as y'all could possibly have, and still utilizing data and making sure you're making the smart bets on each of these bets. Remember, y'all, because I, I still have people come in after the fact all the time to tell me, oh, this didn't work, or this didn't happen. Oh, you should have done this. You should have done that. After the fact commenters make zero sense, okay? At the end of the day, you bet on the data, and if it doesn't happen, then the player just had an out-of-the-normal game. It's not that the data was wrong. The data is always on point, okay? But sometimes players just have off games, and that's where it doesn't hit. You know what I mean? And at the end of the day, that's the part you can't control. The only thing you can control in sports betting, as I've always said, is the data that you utilize and how much effort you put into this shit. Props Made Easy takes all of that time that you would need to spend to be consistently successful and gives it to you straight up immediately in your face and lets you know the best spots based off the data. Now, all of those prop types that were added to NBA, there will also be prop types added to MLB. Um, we will be having, I will give you the prop types that we're adding. Let me pull up our messages that we've talked about. Obviously, you've got the first inning runs tool. Boom. You still got that there. Remember, the more green that you have on a column, the better the under. The more red that you have in a column, the better the over. Okay? All right. So with that being said, let's go back. Now, um, <clears throat> the prop types that we'll be adding. So we will be adding hitter fantasy score as well as pitcher fantasy score once that comes. Um, we have hit. We could do... We're also going to be doing hits allowed, stuff like that. So we're going to be adding about three new prop types or something like that. Pitcher fantasy score, hitter fantasy score, um, hits allowed, stuff like that. Really, as much as we possibly can add through that we have available data for, um, we will add. Okay? Um, and yeah, so let's get straight into the picks for today, baby. Let's get it. So first and foremost, first play I want to talk about is going to be Michael Kopech. I'm not sure if I'm saying his name right. So our two plays today are going to be Michael Kopech and Aaron Nola over pitching strikeouts. So first off with Michael Kopech, he's going against Tampa Bay. This is a solid Tampa Bay squad, but facing righties, they're not near as good than facing lefties. Um, a lot of these bats in that Tampa Bay offense can hit lefties very, very well. But there's a lot of righties in this offense that are going to struggle a tad bit. I can see them struggling a little bit. Versus the right-handed pitcher of Kopech. Kopech's got a solid K rate. Always has. Um, guys are able to put the bat on the ball, though. That's the only issue. But he has a solid K rate. His prop line's only at 4.5. Vegas likes the over at minus 130. Our projection's 5.2. He has a 0 0.72 differential, which makes him a solid over call on his pitcher strikeouts today against Tampa Bay. Um... Solid spot, spot for Michael Kopech. Even though he's facing a solid Tampa Bay team, Tampa Bay has had a solid season so far. Um, it's a good individual matchup for Kopech here. In a pitcher-friendly ballpark as well, um, I really like that spot for him. Okay, um, At least to get the strikeouts. I don't know if he's going to have an overall great game, but I think he should be able to hit that five strikeouts. That's all we're wanting here. Aaron Nola over against Colorado. We all know when Colorado's at home, you don't really want to play against them. When Colorado's on the road, you want to play against them. Aaron Nola in this matchup at home in Philly facing a high strikeout Colorado team while on the road. This Colorado offense is not good on the road. It's been this way for years. All right. The prop line says 6.5. Vegas likes the over at minus 135. We also have him projected at 7.19, a 0 0.69 differential to grab the over on Aaron Nola's strikeouts. Aaron Nola at home, high strikeout Colorado team on the road. Easy money over the 6.5 strikeouts. And then Michael Kopech, like I said before, <clears throat> Michael Kopech is a guy that could get blown up here. 
for sure. But I also have a higher odds of seeing him hit his pitcher strikeouts before that was to happen um, because of his K rate that he does possess. And he's going to face a Tampa Bay squad that's got a good bit of righties in this lineup. All right. Um, And that's going to, you know, work well for his K rate as well. All right. Um, So I'm excited to see it. Uh, Excited to hit both of these. Both of these are in great, fantastic spots to go in. Um, Hopefully Kopech doesn't get blown up too crazy early. Then he might get pulled before he can hit it. But I, I see him hitting. Vegas likes the over as well as the data likes the over. So same situation for Nola and Kopech. Both fantastic options. All right. Go get that money, y'all. Good luck. It's Flex Friday, so go get that extra money, baby. Put in those six-pick flexes to have some fun. Sprinkle in those mixing and matching uh, pairings so that you you know have some backup if your six-pick flex does not hit. You don't want to always rely. Once again, as always, I'm always here to just help y'all, um, give you advice on how you need to be doing this so you're not just kind of winging it off what you see people do on Twitter. Just because people on Twitter are always promoting six-pick flexes is not does not mean you need to do that. The reason they do that is because they hit. They can use it as promotion like they're the greatest bet, prop bettors in the world. Okay? Uh, that's the only reason that they're doing that. The smart way to do, yes, I get it, to have some fun and have that upside. Go ahead and put a six-pick flex in. But don't use a ton of your bankroll on it and mix and match two-player options so that you have backup. You feel what I'm saying? Thank you guys for joining me, man. Y'all have an amazing Friday. Have an amazing weekend. PropsMadeEasy.com, baby. Consistently growing. More types are going to be added to baseball today. So check those out. Get involved in the player prop chat. Uh, Talk over ideas with other members. Grow a following off your great ideas. People are going to love you so much and follow you. Um, And just, you know, go over ideas. And that's the best way to be successful, man. Having a community of people who are like-minded and also researching and trying to put out the best plays. As well as having access to these tools that show you the best plays based off of data, which is the most important thing you can possibly use when making these picks. All right. Thank you guys. I'm out. Peace.